Shang pick was phenomenal for Faison before. Faison's gauntlets are something to behold. So this is probably going to be one of the ways that he's going to have to get in on these blasters from Boomy and deal counter with the gauntlets because um, because Lil Capt wasn't using gauntlets oh. or blasters. So this is going to be an entire different, entirely different dynamic for Faison to have to deal with. Yeah, and I mean, you could see the difference right now. The extra range that the gauntlet, that the blasters afford, Boomy has just been taking for a ton of damage. Oh my gosh, really he went for that ground pound. Is that going to be it? Oh, he saved his recovery till the very last. I, I honestly think Faison had no idea that that recovery was there. I mean, the way that Boomy was moving, it looked like he was dead. But that, like, that mind game that he was playing was absolutely perfect in order to get back. There was, I mean... Honestly, the best thing he could have done right there. Yeah, that's the incredible patience, the the knowledgeability that you need to have to hold on to your resources, even when it seems like I need to spend them now or that's it. Oh my gosh, and Boomy just pouring on the hurt. We've seen that Demon's Grasp lead into so much, uh, not even just stage control, but eventual knockout conversions. Cross's Gauntlet serving Boomy incredibly well. Looking for more downlight starters from... Oh, the, re Ooh. the wake up recovery right off the top. It's all he's going to need. He just needed the timing and the positioning and that down dodge trying to read out Boomy's own recovery is actually the perfect response. And that's uh, one of those dangers of the uh, Gauntlet versus Gauntlet matchup. If both players got that Gauntlet out and someone lands that side light first, it is, there is that downtime you have to be aware of where the other player can dodge, jump out, and most players tend to jump out just because that means you oh, get to save no. your dodge. Oh, that's really unfortunate, taking the fall right there, but Boomy played it extremely well. That pressure prevented Faison yeah, from getting Faison, back. Faison, he, he just really bet it all on that dive kick, hitting Boomy. He wanted to not only recover, but score the knockout at yellow to try and bring this back, but it was a little too greedy for this stage in the game. We're getting a lot of damage from cycling those down airs and neutral airs, just reversing Faison's position both ways. That's a huge amount of damage. Faison in his last stock too can't afford to take that kind of damage. All right, starting to mount some sort of comeback. But look at that, the damage is matched, but the stocks are not. Faison getting Ooh. the three piece, not enough to knock out. That's only the snack meal though. Three pieces is only a snack. I mean, it comes with the fries. It, it doesn't come with the coleslaw. You got to take the whole thing. You got to get the whole meal. That four piece, that finisher, that's what he needed right there. And he just couldn't find it. He couldn't afford it. Let's see if he has enough of the follow up though. He's got Boomy into the damage. He just needs to find oh. the clean hit. Held it to <laughs> catch the dodge. Beautiful play by Faison. Absolutely beautiful. Perfect read on that. But now he is far behind Boomy with all the ability to finish this out. Faison is going to have to find all the right moves in all the right places. He can't afford Put himself any in a precarious position. Getting up around the corner. Ah, threw it down, but Boomy was ready for him to try and pick <gasps> it back up. Oh, and no! just like that, Boomy taking game number one. It was just those those quick low damage knockouts on the second stock and that final one there. The surgical precision just putting Faison too far away to make it back only by the path of Boomy's choosing. I mean, it was that was the only option he had left. You had to try to go for any kind of immediate chase down from Boomy to get that hit with the chase dodge or it was on and so throwing out that neutral air in that position it caps a lot of space and it was the best option for him at the time but sometimes even the best option isn't enough and right now boomy again starting with a massive lead bringing phase on almost ready to knock out you see him going for it there with the recovery nice reads from phase on Getting a little bit more damage built up very carefully. Catching Ooh. those blasters uh, right out in those dedication frames, so to speak, where he is dedicated to those moves, like the down light or the neutral light. He's just, he's just so vulnerable if he doesn't pick those up. Oh my gosh, they both went for the same dash approach, but Boomy just a hair faster. And for that, he's rewarded with the knockout up 3-2. 
He's on trying to find that KO. Almost had Boomy off on the top. There's the side Ooh, air. side air. So close. Boomy going really low. Looking for the clap, too. It didn't fi manage to find the connection. Oh, my oh, gosh. Recovery, and there it is. Just barely finding that option out. You could tell by the way that Boomy bobbed up and down. I, I don't know if he was ready for Phazon to go that low with the slide charge. So he wasn't ready for the follow-up recovery. Down here. Oh, man. man Phazon, Phazon putting on a clinic. Woo! These gauntlet strings. So much damage bringing it back. Oh, Boomy oh, with the pickup, Boomy. though. Recovery. Not going to find it at the side here. Not going to connect either. That would have been absolutely devastating. And of God coming out. Boomy getting pulled right down off that ledge. He's on looking for the side stick, gonna get punished right out of the bat. And Boomy looking for his own uh, gravity cancel down light. Looking for a combo starter into that recovery to find that KO off the top. Not gonna find him, but the side stick oh. is gonna do it. Man, one of the strongest signatures in the game. That punch sends almost perfectly horizontally, and he's got so much strength to back it up, it scores knockouts so early. Haymaker, not yet enough. Boomy hanging on. He's on with the approach. The side light coming in, trying to disrupt some of that movement, trying to get right in on top of the Boomy. The side air from the unarmed kit, not going to do quite enough to push Boomy away, but gives time to get that weapon pickup. There's the side light going for the blade recovery, not going to connect it as Boomy moves right out of the way, follows it up with a down air. Knocked off stage yet again. Phazon with the uh -oh. weapon toss sends Boomy low. Oh, his he was peeking over the edge just a little bit there. Phazon missing a crucial opportunity. Is it going to bite him? I think he saw that too. He tried to dash back in in time, but he knew it was too late. He had to dash back out and get out of there. Boomy right now. Oh, that's a, that's a recovery popped. It's hard to take advantage of those when you're in the middle of the stage, but I've seen it happen. Recovery right oh, off yeah. the top onto Pumi is going to lead into a second KO, and this is going to equalize the stocks just a little bit, but that 80 to 100 damage, I think, is, is that what that range is for Phazon. is going to be a little bit too much to deal with. Maybe not, as he strings Boomy right off stage. Oh, yo, let's go. Oh, just gosh. hit him time and again. Fist of Fury. Phazon will not let up. Uh-oh, caught out. He doesn't have too many options here. Ah, oh, he needed a hit onto Boomy, but Boomy wasn't going to give him the spacing necessary. He's not able to get back. He had all of his recovery options. Man, so that puts Boomy up now 2-0 in the set in an amazing clutch victory. Ah, Phazon, look at that. He almost had him on the edge there. Boomy just perfectly ducking down and around that ground pound to send him out of here. So we're running it right back. Game number three, Demon Island. Boomy starting off with a weapon pickup and blaster. Damage, pushing Phazon right off stage. The spot dodge, just barely missing that side air. The Phazon's Val pick getting a lot of gauntlet damage in, but not nearly enough to close this gap. Man, I feel like I've seen this movie before, but they just recast <laughs> one of the roles. This is the sequel? We've got Val instead of Wushong, but Boomy doesn't even care who the target is. It's all just punching bags to him. Well, when you got those boxing gloves on, that's the only thing you can look for is punching bags. And if there are no actual punching bags, then the uh, well, the opponent's going to oh. have to do. And weapon throw right there. The weapon denial, too, with Boomy is going to be caught out with no weapon. Sides it coming out, pushing Boomy off stage, almost to the blast zone. Caught and that's the recovery. Catch. The recovery ground pound. He's, he did touch the wall, though. Oh, oh my gosh. Couldn't make it back. And somehow Phazon turning this around. Is this little bit of a lead exactly when he needs to start bringing this set back? It might be. It might oh be. Oh my gosh. The, top, though, the, the scramble. The <laughs> absolute scramble. You're just getting hit after hit, bouncing out and around. It was the corner. There's you. There's the stage. Everything. And somehow Boomy managed to steer and recover back into the final blast to take the knockout. Boomy is landing like three times the moves at this point. These blasters are actually carrying miles right now. The uh, neutral air on these. The, the, oh, the Woo! pickup from the ground pound is going to lead to a very, very early kill for him. I mean, Faison just barely respawned and already losing that second stock. This is a uh, very, very bad position for Faison to be in because he's lost almost all his momentum that he just gained from the beginning of this game.
looking to try and build it back up. Took Boomy clear across the stage. He's done a ton of unanswered damage. The reverse on that neutral signature, sending Boomy out. Even unarmed him for a little bit, but now Boomy dodging that signature. How much damage can he do before Phazon takes him down? Uh, an apt question we will find the answer to, hopefully in just a moment, but Phazon with this sword looking for a way to get in. He's not entirely sure on how to approach. You can see the hesitation in his movements. I mean, it's tough to think with this amount of pressure just because he is down 2-0 oh. in the set. There it is. Now he's evened up the stocks. He still has a mountain to climb, but he needs this knockout to survive in the set, to survive in the tournament. This is lower bracket action. Oh, God, oh my gosh! Option. I can't believe that didn't connect, but the recovery on the back end being the perfect option to close that out. What a way to go! Oh my god, these scramble situations, Boomy just seems uh, almost like a cat able to get his feet under him every single time. You see him just kind of, oh, I, I fly this way, the opponent flies that way, we're both swinging, and he just makes the best of a bad situation every single time.